Hello and welcome to another set of readings from Lotus Love Tarot 555. And I'll never begin readings without telling you how much I love and appreciate all of the support that you have given to not only this channel, but our Instagram account. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the beautiful comments that you leave. Just thank you for being an inspiration to, to me so I can continue to do what I'm doing for you. All right, now if you have watched our readings before, you know you can go ahead and fast forward through this part. But for those who may be new, first of all, hello. And I just wanna give you just a little bit of instructions about how this reading will go. Now, first of all, you will be able to apply this to your sun, your moon, your uh, rising, or your Venus sign for some. Remember that the messages may flip-flop, so if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. Also, remember that there's no time limit on these readings. It could have happened three months ago, it could happen today, or could happen in the near future. Oh, and hello to our cross-watchers out there. Now, remember to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555 and also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just go ahead and remember to give us that thumbs up if this reading relates to you. And if it doesn't relate to you and you feel as though it could be helpful to someone else, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. All right, remember that private readings are available and you can get information pertaining to that below. All right, now on to your reading. Hello, my Libras. Let's get right into your reading. And looking back at your April. No, what is this? Oh, my goodness. Not April. <laughs> May. May. Where is the time going? Oh. Looking back at your May reading. Let me see. Libra, twin flames, but you are getting back what you put out. Okay. You were getting back what you put out, but your twin flame had arrived. So let's see where you're going for the month of June. Okay. Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to understand the fight of the twin flame soulmate relationship? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? As far as a twin flame soulmate relationship for June 2019. What messages need to go forth for the sun? Oh, wow. Okay. We got a lot going on. And I'm going to keep them separated the way that they came. We had these three, this one, and this one fell over there. Okay, so apparently, whoa. My Libras, apparently we're talking to... Maybe a couple different groups here. Let me see what this is saying. Oh, it's kind of saying the same thing. We just got three different. That's a lot going on, but y'all know what, how I feel about that. I feel like if they all fall and it's, it's right with my spirit, I'm going to say exactly what comes out. And it has never felt me yet. Holy Spirit, divine spirit of the universe, what message need to go forth for the sign of Libra? as it relates to the twin flame soulmate relationship for June 2019. All right, we got a flyer going on. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as it relates to the twin flame soulmate relationship for June 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? Okay. Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as it relates to the twin flame soulmate relationship for June 2019? Hey, your, your cards are coming out quite quickly, uh, Libra. I think this is the fastest <sighs> this has ever come out, but it surely is a uh, Consistent message here. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? As far as the twin flame soulmate relationship for June 2019, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? Okay. 
Okay, my Libras. I'm going to put these right here. We have a lot. We have a lot. Okay, this was the first group that came out. Playfulness. It says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And then we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And then we have true love. This is the romance of the lifetime. So you all are probably saying, well, how is all that fitting together? As far as the playfulness concerned, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that spirit is wanting you to relax a little bit. Not to get in a so so playful mood that you know you're playing to the point of immaturity, not like that, but to relax some because you're going to have to wrap your mind around because separation is coming, even though this might be your true love. And let me explain that sometimes you can be in love with somebody. Sometimes you know you know you you might have the heart for them, the desire for them. They might be your soulmate. Okay, you might feel as though this is the one for your life, but you're in a point right now. That separation has to come because it could be a situation that is happening and you're just not on one accord. And the best thing right now is for everybody to separate. It's like you're having to go into a time out right now. Time out to get your mind together because the more you stay together, um, the, the more things and uh, things are, are, are happening negatively. You're not on the same path. You're not on one accord. A lot of friction in the household, even though this could be a true love, okay? Even though this could be a true love, but with this playfulness coming out first, it's like I'm feeling like I just need to relax some. You know, I need to, even though this is happening right now, I need to still find joy in my life, okay? Even though I may be having to go through the separation. And then the next card out was unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And I'm feeling already right now for some of you that may be watching this, you're getting sad. I'm telling you right now, you do not get sad. Do not get sad. Just because it's in a place right now, whereas it seems like it's just, um, it, it, it's, it's in a place right now that you feel like it's no, it's no way it can come back. Okay, it's just that it's at a dead end. I'm telling you, that's not so. It's just that this placement that you are right now, you have to get over this hurdle. But let's just keep going. Look at there. The spirit said, just make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I told you, I can't make this up. Spirit is saying, yes, you're in a bad place right now. Yes, you all may need to separate, which means going to a timeout period. But just make the effort. And look here and stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I cannot make this up because there's a possibility that after the separation, reconciliation will take place. Okay, someone from your past is returning to your life, but I'm feeling for some of you with this situation, even though you're trying to make the effort and stand optimistic about this situation, it could be somebody else coming in. So we could be talking to two different groups here. You could have somebody totally coming in from your past, okay? which is this could be one situation. Let me go ahead and put this over here. This could be totally one situation, and then another situation is coming in, and that person could be your soulmate, okay? Yes, this is your soulmate, and this is the person you really need to have the heart-to-heart -heart conversations with, okay? So I'm feeling like for some of you, you're, you're, re you're resonating that, and that really makes sense because the next card said release your ex. And so as far as I'm looking at, this would be considered the ex. This, this stack right here is considered the ex, okay? And this person is coming in for you who is the soulmate, okay, who is the, uh, the one you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with, even though you thought this over here was a true love. And yes, it could have been true love, but this is the soulmate, okay? And Spirit says, release the ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So remember, this card fell all by itself. So this is like, it's telling the message. And look, your next card says, explore your options. I cannot make this up. Oh, my goodness. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. I, I don't even know where else to go on this. I mean, I just, I can't make it up. I say it all the time. I cannot make this up. You all watch me shuffle the cards. I pre-shuffle the cards. A favorable outcome. Spirit is saying, yes, you may have to release your ex. Yes, you may have to separate. But a favorable outcome is coming. Because, listen, this situation is already resolved. Spirit is saying, I've already taken care of this. You just follow what I'm telling you to do. You follow what I'm telling you to do. And then the next card out says, travel. Okay, an upcoming trip uh, proves to be life-changing in positive ways. So, after all this, I'm quite sure some of y'all are going to have to get away. And the next card says, it's time to walk away. 
Love, leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. Can it get any clearer than this? Walk away because a new situation is coming. Leave the unhealthy situation because a new because a new doors are going to open as a result. Can't get any clearer than that. Spirit is saying, if you're thinking about saying, staying, you're thinking about ignoring what I'm saying, you better reconsider. Okay, you need to reconsider because you might even need to get get, get more information to understand what I'm telling you is right. Okay. So spirit is very, very clear with this one, Libra. I mean, very, very clear. But just, just look a little further. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as it relates to the twin flame soulmate relationship for June 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? And just think about your, your May reading, Libras. And, you know, you, you could have been a twin flame. I got to go back and look. I can't remember. But I do remember that twin flame was in. I don't know if you got the twin flame card. This could be a twin flame relationship. Whereas this twin flame now is trying to totally come in. And you got to let this other person go. Because it's just not going to work. And it's not going to work if it's a twin flame relationship. It's just not. But you were having to deal with some karmic lessons. That's why you, you were getting back what you had put out. You, you're having to deal with some karmic stuff right now. And that's why it's so painful. Okay? Holy Spirit, divine, creator, universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? What do our Libras need to know? What messages do you have to come? Okay. Okay, my Libras, you have the King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups, Death in Reverse, and the overarching energy is the Five of Wands in Reverse. This is somebody who's been trying to avoid conflict. And I believe you've been trying to avoid conflict, but Spirit, I feel like Spirit is behind this. Okay, this is going to happen. Okay, this is going to happen whether you want, want it to or not. So you've been really trying to avoid this situation, but you can't. Spirit is telling you what you need to do, and you need to pay attention to that. Okay? Now, this King of Pentacles, this is a supportive person. Okay, this is somebody that's a practical leader. This is somebody who's an investor. Okay, this is somebody who knows, knows what they're doing. But what I've noticed here... And this Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, this is a woman that's, she's competent, she's secure, she's feisty. But I noticed that they are both looking, now he's looking at her, but she's looking away, okay? And so you need to look at what's happening here. Even though he's looking at her, she's looking away. So this is as if, I, I don't want anything to do with you. You know, I'm done with this situation. And so this really, what could be happening here? You know, this could be the, the ex trying to, and you saying no, or it could be vice versa. Remember, the energies can flip-flop. But this is clearly two people who are not gelling with one another right now, even though they are in their own energy. And that's coupled with the Eight of Cups, which is somebody is moving on. This is somebody who's totally withdrawn. I mean, you can look at the card and say, I am done. I don't care what cups are here. I'm done with this situation. I am leaving. And so in the death... In reverse, this death card in reverse, this is, this is somebody who is afraid of change. This is somebody who's been trying to hold on, but it's not happening anymore. Because even though I've been trying to avoid the conflict, this, this is inevitable. It's going to happen. Let me see what's behind here. This ace of wands, see, this is somebody who doesn't have passion anymore. This is somebody who doesn't have, they just don't simply have the energy for this any, anymore. But you got the chariot. The chariot says, but I have to take control. I have to take control of this situation. Okay, my Libras. I mean, this is very, very clear. And who's here on the table? You have oh, a whole lot of fire energy. So you got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have Earth energy with uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is Cancer here. This is Scorpio as well. So those are the, the uh, signs that are present. Or remember, they could take on the energy of the signs, right? Or they can take on the energy of the sign. So it does not necessarily have to be that sign. They could just be operating out of that um, emotion of that sign. But it could very well be the sign that you're dealing with. 
All right, let's just see what the final message is. Holy Spirit, divine prayer of the universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as it relates to the twin flame soulmate relationship for June 2019? It's ready now. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? What do our Libras need to know? Uh-oh. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Forgiveness. Your last message is secret admirer. Could very well be this person. Someone has deeper feelings for you than you're letting on. Okay? Could very well be this person. And I'm thinking about your last reading. You might need to go back and check that last reading out. Could very well be that twin flame that is finally pushing pushing his or her way through. Okay? Could, could be that as well. But you need to go back and look at that message because I can't remember it all the way. But, uh, but that may be in the territory of what we're talking about now. If you want to have a private reading with me, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, my loves. Bye-bye.